Speaker One. Well, it was supposed to be like one of those endless summer holidays, like when you were a kid, you know, just pottering around, watching some daytime TV, seeing some mates, staying in bed till noon. But inevitably, the more I hung around the place, the more I realised how much needed doing. Before I knew it, I was digging up the garden, fitting shelves, tidying up. The only time I went out was to go to the DIY shop for more bits and bobs. By the end of the week, I was more shattered than I had been at the beginning. So much for that idea. In future, I'll make a point of getting away. Speaker two. It was great. It took two hours to get there, and the key was waiting for us. We didn't have to deal with anybody. No hanging around at airports. No checking into hotels. No lugging baggage vast distances. No making a fool of myself in another language. We just rolled up and let ourselves in. It had all the home comforts, and more importantly, it was clean and tidy. Within three hours of leaving home, we were sitting at a pub by the riverside, beer in hand. I don't know why we ever bother going on exotic holidays when we could have just done this. Well, I'll know for next time. Speaker three.、Oh, I'm so glad I did it. I mean, it was hard work getting up at the crack of dawn so we could get well on the way before the heat of the afternoon. I don't think I've ever been so tired in my life, and my feet were killing me by the end of it. But it was a brilliant way to meet people, not just tourists like me, but also the porters and the guide. They opened our eyes to the cultural aspects of the trip, so that was an added bonus. I'm glad I had them to carry the tent for me. I'd never have made it otherwise. It was such a brilliant feeling, though, when we finally made it there. I'll never forget it. Speaker four. Well, I have to say I was dreading it, but my husband had been pestering me for weeks. I mean, it's not much of a getaway, is it? Having to be on your best behaviour and making polite conversation all the time. But I have to say, it wasn't half as bad as I expected. There are some quite nice places to visit near their place, and so we did manage to have some time to ourselves. And of course, we got waited on hand and foot too. All our meals provided for us, although we did have to chip in with the washing up. The great thing was we had plenty of time to just relax, sit in the garden with a book, watch a movie, do some shopping. I didn't expect to feel as refreshed by the end of it as I did. Speaker five. The place didn't have a lot going for it. I mean, it's not really on the main tourist trail, so it hasn't got much in the way of culture. There were some interesting buildings and some nice bars, but nothing special really. I wouldn't have liked to stay there any longer because we'd run out of things to do by the end of the second day. But the hotel was clean, the food was nice. I got the chance to practice my language skills and pick up some bargains. When I got back to work, I did feel as if I'd been away for longer. So it must be true what they say: a change is as good as a rest. But now it's back to the grindstone. <laughs>